So is this the dumbest thing a television network has ever done? Entertainment Weekly's new issue ranks the 50 biggest bombs and blunders in TV history. And assistant managing editor Dalton Ross is here with uh, some of the worst. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. You know, what? I'm a little sad about this because mm. all three of them, Jay and Dave and Conan, have been as funny as they've ever been the last week or two. Yeah, and you know, you saw in that segment saying Jay Leno's the big winner. I think David Letterman's the big winner because he's just sitting back and Jay Leno's going back to, to, prime time, uh, to late night. He used to be the king of late night. Is he now? Is he going to be? I don't think so. I think it's going to be Letterman. You think so? You think he's damaged goods from this? I think past he's. I mean, he's got. You know, he's got sort of the stench of failure on him now. Mm -hmm. uh, this ten o'clock, uh, you know, experiment gone wrong. So uh, we'll see. Let's talk about this issue and some of the uh, 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 shows that are on your list yeah. of top TV blunders, other than. <laughs> well, actually, we'll see if that we'll see if the Leno experiment we'll at, at ten o'clock gets on the list <laughs> or not. Let's go through some of your picks. Number nine, Felicity. That, now, that was a hit, wasn't it? Great show, but what this is is a move of Felicity cutting her hair. Look at that. Look at that before and after shot, Harry. Look, Fel Carrie Russell is a beautiful, beautiful woman, but you know what? She's more beautiful with hair. Yeah. And when they decided to cut the hair off, uh -huh. it was a case of messing with success, and that haircut uh, equaled a big cut in ratings as well. Wow. All right, number six on your list. Uh, you list the uh, actor who left their shows too soon, whose careers were, were bungled, and, yeah. and, and what is that? Well, it's basically premature exits. It's basically sometimes a, a TV star gets popular and they say, hey, being a TV star is great. You know what would be better? Being a movie star. It doesn't always work out so well. You look at Shelley Long, Left Cheers. Right. Uh, I don't think people were toasting Troop Beverly Hills too much. And then uh, <laughs> Dave, David Caruso is a hot commodity with NYPD Blue. Uh -huh. he, his movie career flops takes him eight years to get back on a little thing called CSI. Miami, but a long that's, eight that's years. That's working so out for him. Then. It's working we should out say now. That. That's right. I do not remember this show. Number five on your uh, a blunder list is the Secret Diary of Desmond Pfeiffer. Yeah, you don't remember it because it was only on for three weeks, Harry. Because <laughs> you know, memo to network executives: slavery, not funny, not not that funny. Hang uh, on a minute. What was the premise? The of The premise show? of the show is that he is Abraham Lincoln's butler, Sorry. and they thought it would be hilarious to make all these slavery Let's jokes. It was not hilarious. Telegram People were offended. <laughs> three weeks and gone. <laughs> Are you serious? Done, gone. Unbelievable. Yeah. Who played Abraham Lincoln? Shia McBride played the uh, the butler, and uh, I don't even know who played. Remember who played Lincoln? It was he's probably trying to forget who, that he played Lincoln too in that show. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, moonlighting is on your list. Moonlighting, you know, here's the ultimate will they or won't they show. You know, because that was a great show. Hilarious. Uh, look at those glasses of Bruce Willis is yeah. sporting there. What's, well, what's there was this amazing tension, the sexual tension right. between yeah, them. Yeah, but Harry, you know what? You can't have sexual tension when your characters are having sex. And that was the problem is that eventually they hooked up. And then all that tension was gone, and it was a slow burnout after that. Oh, so yeah. that's a little sad. Poor David isn't and Maddie. It? Right. Uh, this is. I do remember this one though, mm -hmm. because of the uh, the Geico commercials, and they were so wildly popular. Yep. With the even a caveman can do it. Who was it? Was it ABC? It was ABC, and it, this goes to show what's funny as a thirty second ad for car insurance is a little tough when you stretch it out for half an hour. You know, the, the caveman bombed for three reasons. One. It had this sort of reeked of crass commercialism. Two, it wasn't funny. And three, it wasn't even saving us any money on car insurance. So if you're going to make me watch this, at least save me some money, all right? You've got Family Guy on your list, though, too. And that is a fabulous show. Exactly. And Family Guy's on the list because Fox, believe it or not, canceled it twice. They took it off the air twice. Then it became a huge hit on DVD right. and in reruns. Then they realized, whoa, yeah. let's bring it back. The lesson learned here is patience is a virtue. And that's a, that's a hard commodity to come up with. It certainly is television on, on television, days. that's right. But last but not least, mm -hmm. your number one blunder of all time in TV history. Yeah. Drum roll, please. Jay Leno at 10 o'clock. I'll tell you why. Because all these other bombs are, are ruining half hour, an hour of uh, primetime real estate. Jay Leno show, you got five hours of primetime gone. You've got the local news after that gone. You've got the Tonight Show, which he's host. He leaves with Conan. It does really poorly. So 12 hours a week you have uh, down in, in the dumpster here. It was a, a debacle of epic proportions, Harry. Let's see if NBC can put Humpty Dumpty back together. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> Dalton Ross, thanks.